So NFE market deployment uh, opportunities. So when we talk about NFE market, typically we are talking about deployments provided opportunities provided by the operators. Um, so um, we see, if you look, consider the hype cycle. Um, we uh, believe that uh, today um, the state of uh, the NFE market is that uh, it's uh, gone through the hype cycle, and it is um, uh, some expectation adjustments are happening. Um, we see um, certain use cases percolating up uh, as more prominent and uh, uh, we see certain solutions uh, going into maturity cycle. So um, POCs already started uh, since last year. We see more of these POCs uh, coming out this year uh, as well as um, some lab trials uh, towards end of this year uh, through middle of next year. Uh, real uh, deployments based on the top two, three use cases, uh, we think that uh, middle of uh, 2016 through um, uh, year after would be uh, where uh, a good ramp up in commercial deployments will happen in an operator network. So um, that's the view um, from what we see um, uh, in this market. So what are the top two, three use cases uh, today and uh, why. Um, clearly, uh, we are seeing uh, since uh, middle of last year uh, a big use case emerge uh, that is attracting a lot of attention from different uh, equipment providers and uh, also operators. This is a virtual CPE and uh, followed by virtual provider edge uh, opportunities and uh, obviously there's a uh, virtual EPC uh, that has been there for a while, but I think the top two uh, from a volume point of view and that is where we think uh, most of the attraction is uh, towards these use cases. Uh, these are high volume opportunities uh, both for uh, equipment manufacturers as well as uh, operators. And uh, also if you consider the uh, VNFs and the functions within the VNFs for these use cases, the protocol stacks are much more mature and hence the VNFs are in a better mature cycle and um, also ease of deployment of these uh, services uh, based on these uh, uh, VNF use cases is uh, relatively less complex. So um, we see that predominantly um, uh, these two use cases are the top use cases.